There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. Technicians are troubleshooting noise using PNM. Welcome to PNM Live 2023. Today you will witness cable technicians from Surrey Communications in North Carolina who use PNM on a daily basis to improve their subscriber quality of experience, resolve upstream and downstream impairments proactively for a subscriber. The following modem has downstream issues and also shows up as an intermittent modem, which is a strong indicator that the modem is leaking return path noise impacting all subscribers on the node. All right, so we're out here at the back of the apartment. This is one that was tagged through PNM as having low MER values. That is a trap installed on this subscriber. We haven't used those in a while. And uh, Greg Hello. <laughs> is gonna take care of that for us. So we're, we're running, I think our first Doxis downstream channels on 64 and this trap you know, obviously it's passive, but it rolls off until channel 65. So we should be able to get this removed and then run our scan after, and we will be golden. That's the plan anyway. So we're snug there. Let's see what we got. All right, so we've made the repairs on the back, removed the trap, and now we're gonna go back into the PNM app and paste our modem in there. Perfect. And there it is, all green. So let's see what we've improved. When we started, we had uh, roll off down low and we had some funky stuff going on with IFCR or ICFR, I should say. Now all of that is cleared. So upstream's good. Uh, the modem now shows instead, before it had 16 channels, that 465 was the frequency in question where our roll off was for the trap. We're at 38 MER, go up to our 32nd channel, 38 MER. So we're looking pretty good across there. And a nice feature that we were able to get added in, um, we can tell just how online a modem is. One, we got our management IP, which may or may not get blurred out. But then there's the real world IP, which will get blurred out. But that tells us that modem is on. There's a device behind it pulling a IP address and this, this problem is solved. It's good to go. Hey guys, so we're back. I'm in the office. Um, what we have here, this is the upstream analyzer, which any of you that have this use it, you know, you're familiar with it. So let's get a clean slate on a node that we've been having issues with, ingress, detection, you know, it's, it's just, it'll flare up, go away, flare up, go away. So we used this today in conjunction with our uh, show cable modem flap list for this particular node and this is looking a whole lot better than what we started with. You know, we were seeing noise spikes up in here or possibly, you know, plus five, plus 10, depending on what was going on. And we isolated two particular modems that had a really high level of uh, insertions. So we went to those and addressed those and we still have a couple uncorrectable code words here and there, but I mean, we were getting up in like the six and 7%. Um, obviously, you know, the longer you let this run, they'll drop down, but this has proven to be a very valuable tool for me to use and be on the phone with one of the uh, maintenance guys out in the field. I mean, yeah, you can track noise with the eye stop, but being able to see it and see when they pull, you know, a, uh, feeder leg or a return pad of an active or even a drop. This is a surefire way to prove, okay, yes, it's that direction or it is that and it is cleared. So just, just wanted to make a note about that. 